Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, Renoli, and welcome to Crown Trick. So, I found this game on Itch.io, and we're going to be trying it out. Actually, this is going to be a voiceover episode, so it's going to be a little bit shorter because my mic did mess up once again, so I have to voice over this and, you know, pretty much clip out everything. So, what this game is basically is, it's a roguelike, but it's step turn base in a way. And that's at least what I call it, step turn base. It's actually pretty unique. So, let's just go ahead and jump over to where you would have to select what character, well, what your character is going to be, you know, class wise. So, there are four different familiars that you can choose from. So, the first thing is first, we have the Hell Kite. And this guy is basically specialized in putting down bomb barrels and having a flamethrower. And each time he kills, an enemy well each time you kill an enemy you get you know increased damage jack-o-lantern is basically more defensive you can throw a stun you can also slow enemies to where they move less and you pass your passive is basically you get more defense on the enemies that are surrounding you uh, the mandra I didn't really use too much but you get a bonus damage on your next normal hits with this one you can hit them with wind damage and weaken them so I guess they do less damage and they also have vines that can you know root enemies as for the raven which was definitely my favorite out of the whole thing this guy mostly just throws a bomb onto the enemy and after I think three steps it explodes it can go on to other enemies too and make them explode from what I've seen. And you also have a summon of a random creature. Let's just say now that the pigs are not the smartest creatures to summon because you have to literally be in melee distance for them to actually start aggroing and fighting for some reason. All right, so now before you actually pick your character, this is what shows up. And it basically shows you where rewards are inside of this dungeon and what foes you're going to be fighting and the best elements to bring, which I thought was pretty unique. All right, now let's get into the gameplay aspects of this. So, like I said, step turn base. Every time you step, enemies move and you move and basically every step is like a turn. As I step, this guy is going to step the broom. So you gotta come up with like the best strats for this. There are quite a few like games that are kind of like this. Like Crypt of the Necro Dancer is one of them, that's for sure. Uh, there are quite other ones that I remember, but I never played them. But I felt this one pretty unique. I like it. And you have your little floating sword with you that actually changes into other weapons as well. Which we'll probably be seeing in this video, probably not. But yeah, it's like any other typical roguelike. You find items that change your stats and stuff like that. So you can increase burn damage. You can make like a whole burn build. You can make a whole wind build. You know, water build, stuff like that. Which is actually pretty interesting. To be honest, after a while, once you start getting in, you'll learn that burning yourself is probably not the best idea. Even though burn damage is actually pretty good. But you start to run into a little bit of complications because you can burn yourself with your own fire. Not everything is safe. It seems like the bombs are safe to you, but actual burn damage? That's a different story. So as you guys can see at the bottom left of my HP, I only have two skills. Apparently you can bring in subclasses from the familiars you never brought in so yeah that's actually pretty interesting that you could just build off of like the other familiars so you only choose up to like two familiars i'm wondering if they'll bring in more familiar as you go through the chapters or have like secret ways of unlocking more or have quests you know or buying them <laughs> who knows man it just looks very interesting for everything i saw so i chose the hell kite and now I have four skills I can choose from. The barrel and the flamethrower, which I use incorrectly all the time. The flamethrower never once 
to work with me or I never want to work with the flamethrower whichever one comes first so now I have four skills I have to deal with and that's one reason why I like the firebomb the firebomb just travels to other enemies if it explodes onto them so it's like, sort of like a chain effect that they're well and I mostly save up the little items you see right next to the bottom right of my sword and everything I save it for the boss which the boss wasn't very challenging so we're gonna skip straight to the boss so you guys can see what I mean during that fight actually before we skip straight to the fight I want you guys to know that every stage you can gather material and put it into this little pot here and basically once you put it into this little pot you can gain stats or just make like random potions that give you stats increases so if you're going for a certain build more defensive more damage more crit heavy you know being a rogue <laughs> you can do that which is actually pretty nice and make sure to break all the little breakable things just because that gives you mana back or you could just go with the one familiar that increase well that gives you mana back alright on to the boss fight alright so we're getting towards the boss fight here which as you guys can see I have a different item now which is basically the staff like I said there's all kind of different items there's pistols rifles stuff like that to use I'm pretty sure they all float so <laughs> there's little barrels you can open just to spread like oil everywhere and you can blow out the oil so this is the boss fight I was talking about you guys will see how easily we take him out just because we saved up our little items which is at the bottom right I didn't even know I had a blink either until like further in the game and like I said you literally have to put this pig minion in front of the face of the enemy or he will not do anything yeah, the, the pig one is the worst like summon to get trust me I want to get like the mandrake up here but I was just like you know what forget it I'm gonna try a different strat and look at it watch he runs away from the enemy yeah this minion is terrible <laughs> needs to be reworked to where his aggro is like on his own you know distract the enemies for me you know you're not a good summon they're all up in my face and I guess you have to defend me at least let me give him a command so now the mandra is in front of my face now I just decide to just start using all of those precious scrolls just to annihilate him <laughs> so if you save up certain items I guess they are more effective but the thing is the mandra is more effective against fire so of course it's gonna be easy and plus it's the first boss out of everything and the thing is even if you beat the mandra you're still gonna have to take out the rest of the enemies because it doesn't kill them once you beat the boss and as you can see here I gained a new weapon it's basically the axe this is the thing I had like earlier, but I traded it out for the staff. Not only that, there's traps in the game that also work off your turn, so you gotta be pretty careful about that one. Because getting hit by these traps hurt. Let's just say that. They even give you like how much damage it's gonna do, what range it's gonna hit, and it even has little substats. Well, yeah, basically little sub abilities that you can just pick and choose to your own will. I'm pretty sure those are randomly generated as well for like substats and as you're just moving it the traps just go faster make sure to destroy all crates I can't stress this enough just because they, they give you gold and mana if you're running low on mana go there Not only that you can get into some really troublesome rooms like this to where enemies are just cluttered and I don't think this is the best idea and here is a chess room that I found that gives me a random item well random equipment is what I should say they have all random stats like I said you can go towards burn build you can go towards sword build pistol rifle shotguns stuff like that I mean this game even has naked stone ladies that sit in the water you know and give you all your flask and your HP and mana and then she disappears and leave you alone in your feelings. 
and there also is a merchant you guys can buy items from well equipment i gotta keep calling it that just to make oh relics my bad i didn't even see the relic name <laughs> well you learn something new every day but overall this game was pretty fun and amazing i like the art style and it even has challenges in certain rooms that you have to defeat and i guess you get a weapon or an item out of it i gotta try to remember here but this guy was actually pretty easy to take out so if you're in the water it basically gives you a shield and somehow i got out of there unscathed then my special self thinks to myself that i'm immune to fire and well i'm immune to my own fire and then i try something stupid but now, as I look back on the clip, uh, apparently I wasn't unscathed. I took half damage for that explosion. So, my special self need to learn that I can be hit by my own stuff. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just forgetting a lot of things. <laughs> I thought that was set on fire. Then I tried that, and I think he runs, yeah, he runs to it. <laughs> So how do I feel about this game all together? It's actually pretty cool. I like it. It has like all the things I want in a roguelike game. Well, any roguelike game I play. Because you guys know I'm a huge roguelike fan. I love them. Especially random items, random builds. You know, the more random items you have, the more random relics, equipment, stuff like that you have, the longer I will play. Because I want a build that I can't run into ever again. Cause you know, it's like I build one thing just because it was luck in RNG, and I want to play off that. So if you got like a thousand relics I go through and can acquire, I want absolute randomness. I mean that's why I played uh, Risk of Rain so much, and I nearly kill myself again. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but absolutely recommend trying out this game i will leave a link to it down in the description for you guys to try it out yourselves and i hope you guys enjoyed until then peace out